Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Uh, doing a Supermax update. Uh, I've got a lot done in the last couple of weeks. Um, most notably, I've got my Y-axis motor. Uh, thanks to somebody that bailed me out and took care of me. Uh, I was able to get that Y-axis motor put in. Uh, let me zoom you down there and look, take a look at it. There you see it's installed and uh, it is operational now. I've just got to put the front cover plate on it and uh, the little hand wheel and that will take care of that part of it. Also you see I have the uh, monitor up on the Supermax. Uh, I fabricated an arm and a mount and a keyboard tray for it. Let me take you around there and let you take a look at it. It's just a piece of 2x2 two two heavy wall square tubing and the computer is a Lenovo Tiny M92P. Uh, there is a bracket, Visa bracket, that mounts the monitor and there's a bracket that holds the M92P, the PC and uh, since it's a Visa mount it makes it real uh, convenient and then you can see just the bottom of the bracket. This is a Visa adapter and then here's the bracket. I created a Delrin washer so that this will, so this would pivot. And it's got a half inch bolt through it and secured with the lock nut. And then over on the machine itself, same thing. You see a half inch bolt going through the top, a Del, uh, fender washer, and then a Delrin washer, and then the two by two tube, and then another Delrin washer between the two by two tube and the, the uh, ram there. So that's, uh, that's installed. Been working on tying up all this cabling. Kind of neatening things up. Still got a little bit more work to do on that. Also got the air filter on the cabinet, that's installed. Uh, <clears throat> the fan on the inside blows air inward, so it pressurizes the cabinet. You don't want to suck air in, you want to blow it out so it keeps dust out of the cabinet. Take you around to the cabinet, let's take a look inside there. There's a shot of the cabinet. It's pretty much all tidied up. Got a little bit of work left to do in there. All that's functional. And uh, also got the uh, VFD installed and programmed. You know, the VFD was installed, but I also got the VFD in and programmed. Let me take you around the front. We'll fire up the spindle. Okay. I've already, I've already honed the machine. So we'll go to MDI and we'll do an M3S2000. Cycle start. Let's do an S4200, which is a max speed. It's 500 RPM. The spindle's cold. I have to work on the acceleration, deceleration uh, parameters on the VFD and see if I can get it slowed down a little bit quicker. But the uh, spindle is under VFD control now. M5. I also already started calibrating the axis. Um, I've got some more fine tuning to do. And the reason why I didn't go into a lot of detail with the Supermax is because I did a whole series on my first Nemo conversion that I did and it's done in very much detail there so go check out the all-in-one DC install on uh, the Ganesh Nemo I did and all the details on how to 
do axis uh, calibration and so forth is there. I just wanted to show that uh, I, I feel comfortable with, a, with a Centroid and the All-in-One DC. Um, the second one went easier. Um, again, no real issues. I followed the schematic provided by Centroid. So there, it was, uh, it's, was pretty easy for me to get the other one in. I, I, you have to have some basic electrical electronic skills and you shouldn't deviate from the schematics. <clears throat> I mean, the schematics cover a number of different scenarios, little things like a 220 volt lube pump or 220 volt coolant pump, that sort of thing. And, but it was pretty straightforward for me. So uh, getting really close to finishing up the Supermax, I'm going to put the, the Y-axis cover on. Anyway, I'm going to get back to work. Just wanted to give you guys an update and let you know what's going on. Uh, it's looking pretty good so far. Talk to you on the next one.